feel when it rains. Mm. You don't look familiar. Where are you from? Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. And, uh, what did they serve yesterday? Yesterday? My goods are to soup? die for. What? You didn't eat yesterday? Uh, I was on patrol at the time. What do you... By the time was over... Hog! Biomarker! Oh, you again. You don't recognize me? Ah, the guy with Matt's orders. Bravo. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Regularly check your infection. Addressing me as Corporal. Hard as you work. You'll be promoted sooner than that. Then, in two or three more years, I had to make second lieutenant. I don't know. Captain, Major, maybe even Colonel. Let's hope we have good luck. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point. Fast and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Ain't a difficult job. Let me go! I'm innocent! Not the first time we're doing this. We'll be fine. Well, look what the cat dragged. Commander has no mercy for traitors. Don't just stand there. I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But uh, maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> he has the authority. But you'd have to be a very special case. 
I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters, on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Thanks a lot. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traps. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. <coughs> Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Aider's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Oh, Summon the medics! Joy. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Heard about Rose withdrawal from the island. I hope Matt knows what he's doing. Chances against Brick guys are pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Hey, you! Want to be sent back to the outlet? Get that biomarker in plain view. No, Stephen. A filthy herb grubber will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. 
The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor. And the guy who needed a salve for his hernia and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. There'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this. I assure you. Hey, Luan. I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. That's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
Renegades attacking the camp. Can I now? ask for a favor? How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. A witch? I've never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from him! I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it!
Wait, I, I need to check for somebody. Make it fast. Hey, Luan, you there? Aiden? What's going on? Do you know anything about recluse petals? Petals? There was something... Wait, Frank told me once. Some were medicinal. Which ones? The small ones. The small... The, the small ones heal. That's what I remember. Thanks. I was afraid someone might have misled me. Aiden, what's going on? I'll tell you later. Sorry. So, what are we gonna do? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now... Hello? Can you... 
What are you talking about? Who are you? You've been searching for your sister, haven't you? How do you know me? Your sister's in danger. You must hurry. My sister, you say? Yes, save her. Are you nuts? You, you, you can't be talking about my sister. What are you waiting for? You have to get to her before it's too late. <laughs> Where am I going? Renegades are holding her in one of the condos on Prince Gabriel Passage, right by the old hotel. She'll die unless you get there. You have to save her. Don't just stand there like that. Save your sister! Okay, okay. I'm on my way. Ugh! <laughs> 
Are you hurt? Don't touch me! Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Who are you? And who are you? I came to help. Some old man sent me. I don't know you. I'm Aiden. Hey, someone's here! What are you talking about? <sighs> Quick, run! But... Beat me outside. Hurry! There's a windmill nearby. I'll wait there. Look at all that slut. Don't talk to some things. Try to tell 
Are you okay? Brother! We don't know each other, but I need you to pretend to be my brother. You did it! But then I didn't doubt you for one moment, my boy. Not one moment. Wait, but... He inherited your courage, Grandpa. Faced the kidnappers as boldly as you faced roaring fires. For 40 years, I led a team of first-class firefighters against the most fearsome blazes. Grandpa has dementia. He's mistaken you for his grandson, who died a few years back. Not that he quite remembers. You've always been my hero, Grandpa. I always believed you could douse the flames of hell itself. Get out of it. A true firefighter ain't afraid of hell. But saving your sister like that looks like you're the hero now. Let's go back. I'll make you some tea. Yeah, we made everyone pee. Those were the days. I'll somehow explain to him that you had to go. Thank you very much. <laughs>